I'm Dr. Matthew Shulman, board certified plastic surgeon, and let's talk about scars. Specifically, what you can do after your surgery to make your scar look better. As a plastic surgeon, I hate scars, and you probably hate them too, but the reality is you're gonna have a scar from your surgery. It's just the way it is. As a plastic surgeon, we have certain tricks and techniques and equipment that probably give you a better scar than another doctor would be able to give you, but the reality is that scar is gonna be there forever. So there's really two basic things you can do to make your scar look better, and they're easy. The first thing is sunscreen. Sunscreen, just regular sunscreen. Your scar, when it's fresh, is gonna be very sensitive to the sun, specifically the UV rays of the sun. So those ultraviolet rays will penetrate your clothes, get to the scar, and make the scar look redder. Now every fresh scar is red, and that redness can last anywhere from six months to a year, but if you get sun exposure, or exposure to the ultraviolet rays of the sun, then that scar will get redder, and that redness will last longer. So what you should be doing is putting sunscreen on your scars. That means even if you're covered in clothes, so if you're in a warm weather environment, or you're on vacation or something like that, and you have a t-shirt or a bathing suit, put sunscreen right on your scar because the UV rays will still go through your clothes. So even though you think, well, I'm covered, I'm in clothes, you know, I'm not getting direct sun exposure, that's not really true because those UV rays can penetrate and make the scar look redder. You're gonna to wanna to protect your scar from the sun for about nine months. So that means use the sunscreen. The other thing that's really important is silicone. Silicone has been shown in many studies to improve the quality and appearance of a scar. This means that silicone applied to a fresh scar will make it less red, more flat, and overall less noticeable. The easiest way to apply silicone is to have a silicone gel product. So this is a silicone gel, it's 100% silicone, which is one, what you wanna look for. And you put a little bit and you rub it into your scar. It just takes a really, 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 really thin layer of silicone. You don't wanna goop it on, but just a really thin layer and rub it in. And you wanna do that every day, sometimes twice a day if you can. And you wanna do that for at least six months. Applying silicone gel and being good about it will really be the most powerful thing you can do to help your scar heal better. Now, the silicone gel, like I said, I think is the easiest to use, but there's a couple different products on the market, but you can get the silicone in a sheet, so it's a solid silicone with an adhesive on it, almost like a Band-Aid, so you can put that, stick that right to your scar. That may make it easier for you to keep the silicone on it if there's a situation where the gel isn't really convenient for you. A lot of people will use a combination. Sometimes they'll use the gel, sometimes they'll use the silicone sheet, depending on what you're doing, what you're wearing. So it's really up to you. The point is, use the silicone. When should you start using the silicone? Well, I tell my patients that they should start using it as soon as they can, which usually means as soon as the surgical tape is off of the wound. For my patients, for example, if you had a tummy tuck, you'll come in, we'll follow you, you'll keep it taped for about two or three weeks. Once that tape is ready to come off, you take the tape off, and then you start the silicone gel. So you really wanna start applying silicone gel within the first few weeks after surgery, and you're gonna keep it going. Again, six to nine months of silicone gel treatments to help with your scar. Now, it make it a little tricky when to apply the silicone gel, when to apply the sunscreen. So there are products that combine the two. This is a silicone gel. It's available from doctor's offices, and there's more than one product, but Basically, it's a silicone gel, so 100% silicone gel combined with an SPF, so a sun protection component. So this is SPF of 30. So it's mixed in together, so you can apply this as your silicone gel and you're also getting some sun protection. I think these are okay, but I caution you into thinking that the SPF in this silicone gel is going to be good enough for you. So SPF of 30, really just means that it's protecting you from the sun for 30 minutes. That's how that works. For those of you who didn't know what SPF means, it means sun protection factor. So an SPF of 50 means that you're protected from burning for 50 minutes. So an SPF of 30 protects you for 30 minutes and then you have to reapply it. 
So I don't think it makes sense to keep reapplying the silicone gel because it'll get too thick, too much silicone gel, and also it's gonna get very expensive. Silicone gel is far more expensive than sunscreen. So I still think that if you wanna use a product that mixes the two, great, but I still think you need sunscreen as well. So you can apply that over top of the silicone gel. So I think these two things is the most powerful thing you can do to help your scar heal well. So it's sun protection and silicone gel. There are some other things that can be implemented if you're really trying to get even better scar quality uh, or if you're just known to make bad scars so you wanna be, be a little bit more aggressive with the treatment. There are lasers. So there are definitely lasers that we can do to the healing scar, usually within the first month, to help prevent the scar from getting bad. And then if you're someone that makes thick or raised scars, if you make hypertrophic scars or keloids, then there are situations where we will inject steroid into that scar to help flatten it. So there are definitely some things we can do for your scars, but again, keep in mind that there's no surgery that you can have that will be completely scar free. So I'm Dr. Matthew Shulman, board certified plastic surgeon. And if you like this video and you think the information is useful and informative, make sure to like, comment, and share, and keep an eye out for the other videos.